a variety of medications are available today to treat osteoporosis, and these medications will um, add greater benefit than what the calcium and vitamin D supplementation or exercise will do for the person. These medications have been shown to prevent fractures in clinical trials, which is the main purpose for treating osteoporosis, trying to prevent future fractures. They also raise bone density in a significant way and typically are well tolerated by the different uh, types of medications that we have. The most popular category of medication these days is the bisphosphonate category. This includes a variety of tablets as well as several forms that are given intravenously. These are all effective medications. They prevent the fractures. They most commonly do not cause side effects for most of the patients and uh, they do definitely prevent fractures in a significant way. Perhaps as many as 50 to 60 percent of fractures that would have occurred without treatment will be prevented. Another category that is still oftentimes discussed is hormone therapy because for women of the right age this sometimes offers benefit for hot flash suppression and perhaps lowering of cholesterol and other benefit. But this must be weighed against the risk of breast cancer, blood clots, heart attack, and stroke that are associated with using postmenopausal hormone therapy. And so for many women, hormone therapy is not a good choice. In some cases, it might be used in women in their 50s based on the current data.